Praise God, beloved. To God be the glory. Great things He has done, is doing, and I believe more than ever before, praise God, is about to do. You know, I just wanted to take a moment, praise God, and just to share with you what God has been doing here in Believer's Faith Outreach Ministries uh, here in Nassau, Bahamas, and how God has been moving in our midst, praise God, during this time of what we've been calling, praise God, the supernatural glory um, of God revival. And praise God, the Spirit of the Lord began to speak to me, and he said, this is this is not just a revival, but he said, I want you to tell the people it's the move of God. Yes, this is, this is a, a season and a time where God has chosen to move among us and to move in our midst. For so many years, we've been praying, oh God, send send down your glory. Oh God, uh, send a revival in our midst. Oh God, show us your glory. And, And so yes, no doubt many churches, many of us have been praying for God to do that. But I want to declare today, praise God, as a servant of God, amen, that we are seeing the glory of God um, like never before, praise God, in our midst and showing up, praise God, in our church and amongst our membership, praise God, as we're seeing, praise God, as we're going into a time of prayer and we're, we're engaging in time of worship and praise unto God, the Spirit of God is coming in our midst, praise God, and just moving in, in miracles, signs, and wonders. Praise God. People are testifying of uh, being healed from so many diseases and, and, and sickness and disorders and pain and the, uh, you know dilemmas in their body. And this can only be the hand of God. This can only be the work of the Spirit of God. Yes. Amen. You heard about us sharing about, praise God, how God has, has been raining down a supernatural gold dust from heaven, a supernatural oils uh, on the people's hands and on their feet. And uh, praise God, um, uh, we've shared how angels are, um, are moving in the services and uh, their visible signs that the angels of God are with us and uh, that are here in these services and uh, there are so many testimonies upon testimonies upon testimonies from young people children from men women husbands wives praise God uh, that it it is unbelievable what we're seeing God is doing but we believe because he told us to believe and he said if we can only believe all things are possible to them that believe. And so, but I wanted to just take a moment today because we're still in this move of God. We're still experiencing the power of God. Uh, just on this past Tuesday night, God moved in such a glorious way. People came from everywhere uh, expecting to see something from God, expecting to receive something. Uh, and, and so God showed up in a powerful way. Praise God as, as we ministered the word praise God and we declared amen that this is the hour of divine visitation and that's what we saw on Tuesday night and the gold and the the diamonds rather falling from heaven and 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 just falling in the service and people are just blown away um when they see the demonstration of the power of God um but this was this was really one of the highlights of Tuesday night past in that praise God amen I begin to prophesy and declare that there's going to be supernatural weight loss in the service and I said that a few times about three or four times and and I begin to tell the people in the name of Jesus watch the spirit of God is going to take weight off of you some of you supernaturally well praise God amen within a few minutes of saying that uh, uh, people started coming forward one lady in particular praise God got up and said oh my God my skirt is falling off of me And, and we said what happened she said I don't know but just a minute ago I just felt uh, my skirt um, started sliding it became totally loose and and I, when I check uh, when we checked this lady and when her husband checked this lady has lost uh, almost four to five inches off of her waistline uh, coming to the service her skirt was tight um, she had to pull to get it on um, but now praise God God work a miracle another gentleman in the service praise God testified praise God uh, that he sat there all night you know worshiping praising God and, and when the service was almost over he said he got up 
um, and came to the altar to sow a seed. And on his way back to the seed, he sat down. But when he got up again, um, his pants started falling off of him. <laughs> and I'm laughing because these are just so much, so much miraculous things, praise God, that God is doing in our midst. And we will not, we will not, amen, give any other glory to anybody else, to any man, not to the devil, not because only God will do miracles on behalf of his children. And that man of God testified that he has lost several inches off of his waist. He had to leave the service holding up his pants because he had lost so much weight right in the midst of the service. What does this mean to you, beloved? It means that God is visiting his bride. He's visiting the church. You know, he said in Isaiah chapter 43, praise God. He said, uh, 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 he said, I will do, behold, I will do a new thing. Praise God. He said, I will do a new thing. Praise God. Amen. On your behalf. And he said, what am I going to do with this new thing? Shall it not spring forth? And he said, when I do it, shall you not know it? Praise God. I will make a way in the wilderness and I will make rivers in the desert. What is happening here in this revival, in this move of God, here at Believer's Faith Outreach Ministries, is the move of God. Is the hand of God showing up in our midst. Praise God. Is the new thing that God promised us that he will do for us. He said, whatever you do, praise God. Amen. Do not doubt me. He says, in fact, he says in verse 5 of Isaiah 43, fear not. Praise God. Amen. Because I'm with y'all. He told us, he says, don't be afraid because I am with you. Praise God. I'm working supernatural miracles. In chapter two of the same Isaiah 43, he said, when you pass through the waters, it, it will, it, he said, I will be with you. And when you go through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. And when you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, neither shall the flames kindle upon you. In other words, what does God say? I'm doing supernatural things in your midst. Hey, you go through fire, a hey, fire will burn you if you if God is not with you, right? But he said, in this season of the supernatural, you will walk through fire and you won't be burned. You'll go through the rivers and it won't overflow you. These are all prophetic signs that God is moving in our midst, people of God. I wanted to just take a moment today to encourage each and every one of you, run to the presence of God. Run to the house of God. Do not stay at home. Do not be discouraged or even dismayed by the hand of the enemy. And you know, we have become so used to the devil doing things that everything we see happen from the spiritual realm or the supernatural realm, people say, oh, it gotta be the devil. I'm here today as a prophet of God, as a servant of God, to testify and to prophesy and tell you it's not the devil this time but it's the hand of God moving in our midst just like he said he would that in the last days he will pour out his spirit upon all flesh and he said your sons and your daughters shall prophesy your old man shall dream dreams and see visions all of this that is happening are just signs are prophetic pointers symbolic pointers to us that God is in our midst and so I want to encourage you praise God make it your mind make up your business to be here with me and to be here with apostle on Friday night at 7 p.m. praise God Saturday night at 7 p.m. Sunday morning at 9 a.m. praise God amen Tuesday night at 7 p.m. and Wednesday midday at 12 noon you do not want to miss what God is doing I am in the prayer room I'm, I'm on the altar I've not left praise God this prayer room for the past several days praise God I've been on the altar prevailing in prayer every night sleeping on each even on the altar, waking up to pray, praise God, and just travailing before God, amen, on behalf of you and your family, praise God, and those of you that are asking for miracles and healing and deliverance in your family and in your lives, and so I believe, people of God, that this is the time that we've been praying for, it's now, this is the season we've been waiting for, it's happening now, praise God, this is the glory that we've been looking for, it's happening right now. And in our midst. And so make it your business, praise God, to be with us, praise God, on tomorrow night, Friday night, amen. And for some of you, it's probably tonight by the time you get this message. But don't you dare miss this move of God. Go bring the sick. Go bring those that need a miracle. Bring the lame, praise God. He said in this same chapter of Isaiah, chapter 43, he says, he says, he said, listen, 
He said, I want you to do this because I'm moving by my power. Power in verse 8, Isaiah 43 and 8, he says, Bring forth the blind people that have eyes and the deaf that have ears. In other words, God says, I'm going to work miracles. I'm going to heal them. I'm going to deliver them. And so I love each one of you today. Don't forget, amen, you've got to be here tomorrow night, Friday night, praise God, at 7 p.m. You don't want to miss this move of God. Praise God. Somebody asked me the other day, why were y'all wearing white uh, on last week, Friday night? Well, because God told us, amen. And he said, if you can obey me in the small things, praise God, I will do supernatural great things in your midst. So just obey the spirit of God. He said in, in 2 Chronicles 20 and 20, he said, if you believe my word, you will be established. And he said, if you obey my prophets, you will prosper. And so I love you on today. And I look forward to seeing you in the glory realm. God bless you. This is Prophet is not it. I love you.